Put a second one in. Now, as I say, now move and do it in another spot. Get, it just cracked. Just that crack was there. There you go. See if I leave. Jerry, I'll leave it just like that. And see it. Yeah, it is great. So I'm going to center it out when you're expecting 75 degrees. And then the sun just keep on going down. So that's where we're going to get close to. Right where you're going to get about me. It's still a hurt. It's still a hurt. It's still a hurt. It's still a hurt. Okay. Listen for Cardinals baseball on WSMI. Today was mostly doing the same thing over and over again, and so I didn't really film too much. We were doing those boards for the front deck, and those are we were sealing them and whatnot, so they're going to go for well, hopefully several decades on the front porch without too much maintenance, maintenance. And then the brick guys have been cleaning up the brickwork. It looks so beautiful. We have that hot water um, pressure washer. They've been cleaning this up and fixing all the mortar. Now there's something I wish I would have filmed. A few days ago they found a really big cistern. So there was this concrete slab right here and whenever they moved the dumpster they evidently picked it up and so it exposed the cistern. And so here was a huge hole going all the way down like I'd say a good 12 feet and the thing was 10 feet wide. A nice old brick cistern. I so wish I could have explored it but I saw it one night, it was really like midnight, and I didn't have, well I didn't think to take a picture because I thought it was going to be there until the next day, but evidently 
they were already well uh, under, under way of destroying it and like within the next day whoever is doing the brickwork they already had someone out here and they were digging it up and it's already all ripped up so that's a bit of a shame but it was probably just a regular cistern and there probably wasn't anything in it because it was always sealed like it was it was a, a maintained it was still in use so there it, it wasn't really used too much to hold old things unless maybe something was flushed that is one possibility however I guarantee you whoever ripped it out they were down there which I really wish I would have filmed that it's a shame you didn't tell me this was going on but um, I bet he would have found anything that was down there since he was down there jack -ham hammering away so yeah that was interesting there was a big old cistern right there and honestly it had to be ripped up because a lot of the infrastructure is going to go through here so that, that does make sense but yeah this brickworks cleaning up really well they're ripping out a lot of this brickwork, a lot of the mortar that's all soft and whatnot, and it looks like an arch is actually about to fall off. So they're really going to do a lot of work on that. I think the next video might show the demolition of this little building right here that holds the walk-in freezer and whatnot. So that's going to be taken down, and that'll be getting back to the more original shape of the building. However, I believe they're going to be bringing out again, making a new addition for the brewery. I'm not sure though. As for the eastern side trench, they're really doing a lot of work with the mortar. They ripped out that part of the wall. This is going to be a doorway and I'm not sure which is... I can't remember. Uh, John said it was going to be something here but basically it's going to be a doorway for the bar and so that's cool or the pub whatever you want to call it. Looks like they've already gotten that thick strip of mortar up so that's cool we're probably gonna do a lot of work down here so this will no longer be a big hill going up here it's going to be flat and I believe they're also going to be redoing this and lowering the sidewalk because it's just really tall it's like the old 1950s uh, curb with another sidewalk above it it's just really really big well, that's a nice looking tree I'm glad they kept that one at least it looks good in spring. Archways are all nice and finished. Haven't done too much progress on this because there's a bit of um, oh, what's the, maybe the term snafu? I'm not sure. But basically, we have to get the pillars done before we can really take away that beam and finish the flooring. But we need to have some of the flooring done before we can put the pillars in to take away the beam to put in the flooring. See the problem we got going on there? So, we've got to wait until we get the pillars done so we can move that and do the flooring and yeah, it's, well I mean, it works out because we're taking a while to do the flooring anyway because you have to sand it and we're recoding it and like that's what all the pieces were in there. So, it's going to take a little while to do that so we can figure this out and whoever he has to spin those pieces will have plenty of time to do that. This has been cleaned up really well. They got all the that, the uh, entrance taken out because honestly it just looks weird having two entrances right next to each other and they don't really serve much of a purpose. I like how they've even preserved this line sticking out. It's very really nice. Probably do a bit more work on here but I imagine they're probably going to be redoing a lot of this stuff anyway so there's a lot of work to be done. Well I don't know how I feel about that. The, looks like the building's pretty much moving away from itself, so they might have to pull that in somehow. I'm not sure. Hope it isn't settling because of what we're doing. Oh, look at that, the moon right next to the chimney up there. This is one big problem of this time of year. The dirt just turns to mud because it's so rainy and wet. Looks like we have a little bit of work going on over here. At least there's some scaffolding. Oh yeah, plenty of work. Looks like they're redoing a lot of the brickwork and stuff like that. Getting this all nice and done. I think it'd be kind of cool to have, I don't know, like maybe a little garden back here. That'd be kind of neat. Have some plant that doesn't require too much light. Something that can survive of ambient light. Is there much plants that are good for that? I'm not sure. I'm going to slowly pick up more of this lumber 
as I keep going through because this is a lot of wood to go through. I imagine I'll probably do this in like three or four batches at the storage unit. I'll start denailing it and going through which ones I want to keep because again this is going towards my shed or garage project. And this dumpster seems to have enough bricks for me to do a good amount of sidewalking at my house, although I might take some of the paver bricks from the sidewalk. But I'm wanting to have a nice a nice walkway or a nice skirting around my house. So there's not just grass growing up right against the house. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have plastic laid down underneath the bricks and then put sand between the bricks. That way the plastic underneath the bricks won't allow stuff to grow up so I don't have to worry about killing weeds or whatever. And plastic, that's gonna last quite a long time. And a lot of these bricks are not good for building or whatever because they're just all the ones that they can't really use. They have really hard mortar on them, but as long as I can clean off one side, then I can still get bricks that are good enough for standing on. And lastly, it looks like they recently bricked up that window, which is nice because it, I guess there used to be like a staircase there, kind of like there's a staircase there, but there isn't anymore. So it's kind of an oddly placed window between both floors. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya.